it's official. You're listening to the I'm Wired to Inspire podcast, creatively engineered by me, your host, your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist. I'm Wired to Inspire is a powerfully packed podcast filled with inspiration and encouragement to get you through your day. It's designed to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. Now stay tuned for today's episode of the I'm Wired to Inspire podcast. Podcast. Hey, 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 y'all. Talking to your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. Thank you for tuning into my podcast. It's been a long time, so I'm sorry about that, y'all. I have had a lot going on. I apologize in the fall, y'all. Um, before the holidays, I actually did a couple interviews with two great women. I never posted those interviews. I'm actually going to probably re-interview them. In all transparency, because a lot has happened since then. Um, personally, I've just been going through multiple things as we all are doing, uh, excuse me, during COVID-19 and life is still happening. And again, life is just lifing, right? <laughs> um, so I am going to be dropping a few podcasts probably today, actually, but um, this first one, I wanted to give someone as encouragement, right? And I'm going to read to you a little note that I have written in one of my journals, right? And this is going to be something that I feel is going to help somebody. I know that this is God because I just happened to open this and I was like, oh, you know what? Let me share this. But this was not on my mind to share. I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, I actually have something else I'm going to be talking about. And in the meantime, y'all, Go and follow my YouTube. It's called the Inspiration Specialist TV. And um, I drop more frequently on there. But I am actually going to get back to... Um, I'm going to get back to posting more podcasts. I have a lot to say. I've been building up. And it's time for me to just get back out there. We're, we should be at about 450 episodes. If not, we started in 2017. <laughs> Woo! So, um, yes. Yes. With that being said, I am going to read to you this note. And I would, just just my opinion, you can say it however you want to say it. You can rewrite it. But I would just ask you to download this episode so that you could um, have this quick little prayer. And I just think it's important for the time that we are in. For those of us who are, um, we are walking into the new. We're walking into new relationships, new prosperity, new uh, things that God wants us to um, to encounter, you know what I'm saying? And this is not, I'm not trying to give you no, um, get rich quick, nothing. No, none of that. I'm just saying we're in a time in our lives where God is just trying to do new stuff across the board. God is even doing new healing. He's healing us in a different way. He's rec He's uh, doing a lot of reconciliation. He's doing a lot of restoration. Um, he's doing a lot of, uh, redemption. You know, a lot of things are happening where, um, God is pulling back the veil. <laughs> He's pulling back the veil. And a lot of you who are listening to me, who have struggled, um, who have really been fighting a good fight of faith, you have genuinely been feeling uh, defeated. <laughs> um, for those of you who are in jobs right now who appreciate your job, but that job is making you miserable. For those of you who don't have jobs and not having a job is making you miserable. For those of you who are entrepreneurs and you just kind of feel like you can't get your footing in the midst of COVID, for those of you who are entrepreneurs and you're balling out of control, it does not matter what lane you fit in. And for all of those I didn't even mention, it doesn't matter your lane. I think the most important thing for us to do right now is just to remember who we are in God, in Christ, and who we are individually. It's very important for you to zero in on that because that is where you need to pull from right now. You know, we all have that coming to Jesus as they say, well, we have to take a long, hard look at our lives and we have to pay attention to what we're allowing in. And what we're putting out, right? So I said all of that to say, this is a note that I have written to myself in one of my journals that I completely forgot about. But when I opened the book just now, the Holy Spirit said, get on here, record this. Somebody needs to hear it. Okay, so this is what it's saying essentially. Now put your name in the blank. Blank. Whenever you want to go back to your past, old fake friends, frenemies, enemies, unappreciative folks, situationships, and clowns who never deserved you. Remember this. Proverbs 26, 11. Anything that makes you want to go back to feeling like you are less than. 
anything that makes you feel like you are not who God says that you are. Anything that makes you feel like who you are today is not good enough. Anything that makes you think of the mistakes you made, like you can't be healed and you can't be forgiven. Anything that makes you feel like going back to it is going to pull you down, but you feel like you need it out of habit. Anything that has happened concerning you and you are trying to make a change and become a new person, a new man, a new woman, and something from your past tries to rear its ugly head to try to remind you of who you once were, Proverbs 26, 11. And it reads, as a dog returns to his vomit, so fools repeat their folly. Don't go back to your vomit. And I don't care what it is. Don't go back to your vomit. You need to hear that. And for some of you, your vomit is your old way of thinking. For some of you, your vomit is that poor relationship. For some of you, that vomit is that, that fake friend. For some of you, that vomit is that old mentality of poverty that keeps you in a place of not prospering. Some of you, that vomit is that, that lie, that old meaning that you used to toy with, like I'm not good enough to live my dream. Maybe they're not going to like how I bake my cakes or they're not going to like my clothes. They're not going to like my songs. Um, they're not going to like this new idea that I came up with. They're not going to like how I do hair, or do lashes, whatever. Okay, we're going to dead that. Okay, we're not going back to that. So whatever your vomit represents, okay, is, and, let, and let me help y'all out. It's not just the dog returning back to his vomit. It says, so fools repeat their folly. That's the whole point of this. Don't repeat your folly. Another way they say it is that, so a fool repeats his foolishness. If you're not about that life no more, you're not about that foolishness no more. Okay? Okay. All bad relationships, all, you know, bad jobs you had, all of the things out of your past that just did not serve you. But most importantly, they did not serve God. God got no glory out of these situations. Okay? He got no glory out of it. All of the things that you desire that give God no glory, we have to dead that. We have to shut that down. There is no room for that. There's literally no room for that. So I want to encourage you today. I want to encourage you today. Download this and run back what I said. I don't care what spectrum it's on. I don't care if it's you remembering when you failed a test back in school and you missed some type of opportunity so you think, but really God is building you up for something great. I don't know who that word was for, you know, or, um, you know, you, you showed up to a place and you went to the wrong place and you missed the event you were supposed to go to, you know, any of these little triggers, these little weird triggers that make you think, oh my God, I don't want to do that again. I can't believe I did that. It is time to dead that. You have to make room for the new mentality. You will not be a fool that repeats their folly. You will not be similar or like a dog that returns back to his vomit. The vomit can move around. It's no more with the vomit, okay? You're not going back to that. So anytime the enemy tries to make you think that the vomit is enticing, because you know the enemy is good for putting lipstick on a pig now. That's how he gets down. That's what he do. So don't give him a right to do that. You tell him no, he can't do it. Move around. You have no place here. You have no space here, okay? So remember... Only fools repeat their folly. And you, my friend, are not a fool. You might be perfectly imperfect, but just as you are perfectly imperfect, you are also wonderfully made. And if you continue to kill people with kindness, and if you continue to do the things that God is telling you to do, you will not be enticed by your vomit, but you will be looking forward to your future. I'm Wired to Inspire. I hope you are too. Thanks for listening to the I'm Wired to Inspire podcast at I'm Wired to Inspire.com. If you enjoyed the show, spread the word for your girl. Hit the five star rating on iTunes. For more information on this podcast and more of my inspirational products and services, log on to I'm Wired to Inspire.com and remember to live your authentic purpose. Thank y'all so much, and I'll see you next time.